Recycling may be largely motivated by protecting the planet, but the practice can have the opposite effect if not well regulated. A small town in South China's Guangdong province has suffered shocking pollution from recycling, which has done the environment more harm than good. But the situation is changing as the government works on an industrial upgrade. Guiyu is the capital of electronic waste in China, a country that generates six million tons of digital scrap every year. Over a hundred thousand locals in some 1,200 workshops earn a living as electronic scavengers. And they disassemble everything from microwaves to phones to computers and extract the gold, silver and copper by acid pickling. Their small-scale operations are highly polluting. Guiyo has a level of contamination with heavy metals and cancer-causing chemicals that is unseen anywhere else on the planet. A study by Columbia University said it's the most toxic place in the world. The toxicity at its peak is 2,800 times above the standard. Sporadic crackdowns have failed to break the e-waste industry chain, and the local government has shifted tactics to lure the workshops into an industrial park, which is equipped with anti-pollution facilities. Acid use has substantially reduced since the park was established last year. An official probe into heavy metal contamination found that candium levels had dropped by 26% and arsenic levels by 60%. But challenges remain. Some workshop owners are short of money. They can't afford to move their operations into the park. There is also a bottleneck in terms of the technology. The equipment used in the park is not extracting enough gold, silver and copper to meet market demand or even earn workers the same profits that they were making outside. The local government is seeking technological firms that will help improve the equipment in order to make the business more cost-effective and eco-friendly as well.